This is the biggest snowstorm I've ever seen out here at the cabin. We've already gotten about two feet. I know I just made a video on this last week about how much snow there was, but it just has gotten absolutely crazier since then. Here we go. I gotta get my snowshoes on just to get up to the cabin. Let's do it, Norman. Poor guy can't get through the snow. I'll break a trail for you, bud. You guys watched my last video. I shoveled these stairs out just two days ago. We've had uh, over 24 inches so far on top of about 16 inches that fell just a few days before that. And tonight we're supposed to get another foot and a half. This is the real deal. I said there's about two feet that's fallen and another foot and a half expected over the next 12 hours so this is going to be pretty serious it's going to be hard to get around the danger of one of the structures collapsing is really real I, uh, i'm going to have to get up on top of the roofs and do some serious shoveling right now we got to get the cabin warm make sure that we have enough firewood and fuel to make it through this uh, just in case we do get snowed in which has happened to me before i've been stuck here for quite a few days without being able to get out so um, we're going to make sure we got all the essentials before it gets too crazy all right i got my first load with some propane and water, all the heavy stuff. And I'm even gonna drink a little bit of beer tonight. All right, I've got all my gear and I got propane and gas and food. I guess we'll just let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I'm gonna go out and get some footage of the falling snow so I can show you guys just how cool it looks and what a pain in the ass it's gonna be tomorrow. Alright guys, I'm heading in for the night. We'll wake up in the morning and see how much snow there is. I'm about to uh, head out and see the aftermath of the storm last night. Every time I woke up in the middle of the night, I noticed it was still snowing super hard. So, but I think the snow has pretty much stopped. You're not gonna believe this. Look at this. That is a lot of snow. about four and a half feet deep with about three feet of new snow, which has me concerned for the structures. A lot of times my roof will shed all the snow off of it, which is how it's designed. It's a steep 8-12 pitch roof with um, sheet metal roofing. This is a very slick sliding surface. And when the top of the snow gets heavier than the snow underneath, essentially it creates a tiny avalanche and all the snow will just slough off all in one big poof. First things first, I'm gonna get my stairs and my deck shoveled out. I realize it's too deep to shovel all my trails out. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break trail with my snowshoes. This is gonna be rough. Oh, 
Norman. Pretty hard to get up. We got a dog on you. Come on, get off me. Oh. Okay. Let's try this again. Whew. We need to get that shoveled off immediately. You're not gonna believe this. That is deep. By the end of the winter, it usually stacks up about this deep out here. This actually isn't super uncommon, but for mid-December, this, this is absolutely nuts. By the way, it's December 15th of 2022. And on that note, I wanna give a very special happy birthday to my mom. Today's her birthday, so uh, say happy birthday to her in the comments for me. So when I built this cabin, I really didn't anticipate what a chore it would be to get out to the outhouse in the mornings. So on that note, we're gonna grab the shovel and uh, pack a trail to the outhouse and then shovel out the door around it. daunting roof. See if we can't get some of this snow to break off. That you're hearing right now is written by my good friend Forrest Wilson and so check him out on YouTube under a Forrest Wilson guitarist I'll tag him in the description good enough on to the next one well here's one that I really don't want to do because I haven't dug it out yet this year but if I don't I'm not gonna be able to get to my firewood so start digging If you remember from my other videos, this is actually my wood splitting area where I split kindling and logs. And as you can see, my kindling splitter and stump for splitting is totally buried and gone. It's getting unrealistic to come all the way from the cabin, dig all this out to split kindling. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna unearth my kindling splitter and I'm actually gonna mount it to my porch and I'm gonna be able to split kindling right on the porch. Which now that I think about it, why didn't I do that sooner? The question is, is there a chance in hell that this stump is going to budge from being frozen down underneath that snow? I'm gonna remove this from the stump head and just install it on a different stump. All right, there's our kindling splitter. Update for y'all, I figured out another stump that was right next to my splitting stump that um, was a little bit smaller, so I thought, eh, I'll give it a whack. And sure enough, I was able to unearth that sucker and uh, tried to carry it over, it was way too heavy. So we're gonna use my newfangled sled I got for towing gear in last night, this thing to uh, tow it over.
day. How about that? Right here. All right, y'all, this is where things are about to get serious. It's time to tackle the sauna roof, which as you saw earlier, is freaking nuts right now. I'm not looking forward to it. Seems a little sketchy, honestly. So, let's do it. spectacular afternoon. The sun's finally out, the snow's stopped. Once I stop stressing about these roofs caving in, I'll be feeling good. The snow is off of the sauna. And I tell you what, that's enough snow. I'm sorry I ever asked for it. I know I begged and pleaded, but uh, that's enough. Let's just let's call it good for a little while. All right, things are about to get a little weird. I'm gonna put this crazy broom on a super long extension pole together and see if I can't use it to uh, just kind of start to piss off the snowpack on the roof enough to all come down at once. Anyway, I've never tried this before. I really don't think it's gonna work. Let's we'll see what happens. It's not gonna shed like that. So uh, anyway, I got a few pounds off of it, but it's what it is for now. I just realized that I'm freaking exhausted. I think it's time to go inside and stoke the wood stove. That was a long day. I just sat down for dinner, I looked out my window and there's a moose. He just walked right past the cabin. It took me a minute to get my camera. I actually get moose out here a lot. I see moose down in my, in my pond all the time. I don't think I've really had a good chance to see one since I started this channel, so. It would have been nice to get a good, good shot of him on film, but oh well. Well, this last week has been absolutely exhausting keeping up with all the new snow. And uh, tonight, I'm gonna drink a beer. So anyway, I just want to take a second to tell you guys a little bit more about me and how I got here. I actually grew up in the suburbs of Olympia, Washington. Really didn't have any sort of woods experience except for um, hunting and fishing with my dad. And then one night when I was about 17 years old, a PBS documentary came on called One Man's Wilderness. And uh, I have the book here. And it was the story of Dick Pernicky, who was this uh, old sourdough who actually um, came up to Alaska in I think the 60s or 70s and basically built his dream cabin out in the wilds of Alaska. I was totally obsessed with it. I'd watch it every night. I just always wanted to fulfill that same dream. Never considered myself capable of doing something like that because I didn't have any building experience. And uh, you know, I was like a little noodle armed musician kid who was hanging out at the punk rock shows downtown. I was not a woodsman by any stretch of the imagination. Anyway, I just went for it and uh, ended up building this cabin. I just want you guys to know that if you have a dream or a passion in your life that you should just absolutely go for it. And lastly, I wanna say how much I appreciate you guys watching my videos and subscribing. And Anyway, one more time guys, cheers. Thanks for watching Alaska Cabin Adventures and I'll see you on the next episode.